All right. So uh, thank you for tuning in to my talk. Um, yeah, as Alessandro said, my name is Rocky and I'm helping making products uh, at Kinfolk. And I'm here to tell you about uh, why we need a new dashboard. So I know that many, you know, you hear the word new dashboard and you're like, oh, what do you mean? So, um, so in this case, uh, when I say uh, dashboard is a uh, Kubernetes dashboard, and when I say we, it's not only Kinfolk, but uh, hopefully many other folks in the community. So in order to explain you better uh, why, so the reason we needed a, a dashboard is because one of the, of the products we have uh, at Kinfolk uh, is called Locomotive, and it's uh, an easy and secure way of, you know, installing a Kubernetes cluster and managing it. But of course, uh, you know, you have the, the CLI tools, uh, but we always want to have uh, the, easier, um, the easiest uh, step of entry for, for, for users uh, and to, you know, just a convenient way of managing those clusters. And uh, of course, a very user-friendly ways to use a dashboard for that, right? So that's, that's why other people use the dashboard and, and the same for us. So we went, uh, you know, being the open source company we are, we went to the market to look for one. And, um, and uh, we had some criteria. So I'm going to explain, uh, you know, the, the criteria and, uh, and the status of it and the outcome. So I think it's, uh, you know, it's needless to say that it should be open source while right? we're looking for something that we can uh, change uh, if needed, uh, contribute to uh, all of that. This is pretty obvious. It should also be actively uh, maintained because, um, you know, we don't want something, we didn't want something that uh, someone created one day and uh, uh, just as an experiment and then it's up there and we know about JavaScript, uh, you know, UIs uh, and it gets outdated pretty fast. So uh, yeah, so those two things are important uh, or obvious, uh, if you will. Something that is a bit more, uh, you know, uh, equally as important, uh, but a bit more, uh, a bit less obvious, I, I guess, is that it should be vendor independent and generic. And these are in the same slide because they are, you know, kind of, uh, kind of uh, related, uh, but it's, it, uh, it's still worth going a little bit deeper into, into each of those. Uh, so vendor independent means that we, we, we didn't want a, um, a dashboard that was created uh, for one single flavor of Kubernetes out there from uh, from some vendor, right? Should be uh, it should be generic enough uh, that it fits uh, many out there, and uh, more importantly than being you know about one flavor of Kubernetes, um, we didn't really want it to be uh, dependent on, on another service that maybe you know manages all the clusters uh, for it. So we didn't we we wanted it to be kind of slim uh, in that sense or simple, uh, but still independent, and uh, the generic part is, um, is, is very, you know, it's very related to, to what I just said, but still uh, it's worth uh, explaining that, uh, you know, as much as we like innovation, it's also good to keep a dashboard uh, traditional in the sense that people will know what to expect from it, right? So some, some, some dashboards take uh, an innovative approach to how uh, clusters are managed um, and things like that. And that's, uh, that's of course, uh, very cool. Uh, but at the same time, it, it forces the user to, you know, to learn a new paradigm or to buy VR goggles, I, I don't know. So we wanted something that was traditional enough in that sense. Um, yeah, and of course, I'm saying that it should be generic, but we all have uh, our things that we want to differentiate, being them, you know, uh, features that a uh, certain flavor of Kubernetes or, um, or a certain way to deploy Kubernetes, like for example, locomotive in this case uh, has, or or some other things like in terms of UI and stuff like that. And uh, this means that it, it should it should be easy to to change. And of course, being open source, we can always uh, fork and make changes um, as much as we would like. Uh, but you know, uh, I know how much it costs uh, to to keep a fork uh, up to date. And uh, and so so if it's at least not modular enough that you can at changes, uh, at good changes uh, with minimal uh, breakage, I guess, uh, then it's gonna, it's gonna be more and more an effort to keep it up to date uh, with, uh, with what's upstream. So 
this is one thing. It should also maybe uh, be accessible in that sense. So, so if it's accessible, maybe you can use the base and, and just uh, add what you need as, a, as extensions in that sense, right? Uh, another important thing is that um, it, you know it should be should have a clean UI and um, and a modern UI and you know is and this is this is kind of you know most dashboards out there actually I think do a good job uh, in, in that uh, so that's that was not such a big problem and that can all, always be changed uh, a more important thing I, I guess uh, is that it should be built with a modern framework. Uh, and, and in here, I'm talking about you know uh, JavaScript frameworks or UI frameworks. Uh, and in that sense, uh, you know I know that modern in JavaScript world may mean like two weeks or three weeks. <laughs> but what I'm talking about is like it should be mature enough that um, we can rely on it uh, for you know for being fast or for being predictable at least. Uh, so that's mature. But it also should should be one that people know about. And and if you know if we need. Uh, contributors, uh, we expect that people know about that. Or if we need to hire someone to, to go and help us, um, that's also possible. So yeah, another thing is that some, some dashboards out there, they take a read-only approach uh, to Kubernetes. So, so in this case, it's more like for monitoring it, I guess, or searching and stuff like that. And uh, whereas others uh, assume that you are an admin, so to say, of, of the cluster and they just, you know, they have all the function, functionality out there. And then if you cl click on it and you don't have the right permissions, of course it doesn't, it doesn't really do anything or, or at least it gives you an error, which is uh, okay. In this case, uh, and of course we can, we can, we can change uh, all of what we're talking about. But in this, in this case, we were looking for something uh, that, you know, if you don't have the permissions, then, uh, then, we're not hinting to you that you can uh, modify an object, for example, right? So it should be read-only. If it has to be read-only, it should be read-write if you, if you have that capability. And, <coughs> sorry, last but not least, um, you know, it, sh it should also be multi-cluster. So I guess you can even divide uh, types of dashboards out there as being a uh, single cluster or multi-cluster. Uh, and um, and uh, in this case, you know, for most users or most individuals, I guess, um, using a single cluster dashboard is enough. But sometimes you, you just want, you, you don't want to, you know, spawn another instance of, uh, of a dashboard just to point to another cluster. So we would like it to be multi-cluster. Yeah, and uh, you know, so there are many dashboards uh, and we did check them out. We did look at the, at the code at, you know how they're uh, deployed, and um, and um, you know we did test them, we did check them because, like I said, we're, we we have a lot of experience in open source, and we would rather join a community than um, do our own stuff. But the thing is that we couldn't find any uh, that checked all the, all the boxes, all the criteria that I just mentioned. So we thought, you know, the logical thing here is that either we take one and we do all those changes or we create one uh, and it's going to be a low, you know, we're going to have the locomotive uh, dashboard. Uh, but then we also thought, you know, if we were searching for that, then chances are that it's, uh, you know, it's, um, it's something that other people uh, may also be looking for. And there is a, a chance to, to go and do something here that, you know, uh, does all, all, all of what we wanted to, uh, to have in the first place. And uh, let me check the time. Yeah. And um, so this is what I'm introducing today. Uh, by now, you probably realize that we, we like trains at Kinfolk. And uh, this one, um, uh, I'm introducing this new dashboard called Headlamp. And um, yeah, Headlamp. Uh, so Headlamp in this case means a, a, a train's headlamp, not the miner's headlamp. And uh, these were lights that used to be, uh, you know, in front of uh, of trains back in the day, I guess. So, yeah, it's a it's a name. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so what, what's what's headlamp and uh, and uh, or at least uh, what we have right now and uh, where do we want to take it? Uh, like I said, you know, it's a vendor independent and generic um, dashboard. There is nothing about it that is specific to locomotive. Um, the front end right now, it's, it's using React uh, plus Material UI, which, uh, you know, we believe gives you uh, the ability of creating a, 
you know, the UI with very minimal effort and it's React. Uh, so it matches what I was saying about, uh, you know, framework that is mature and out there. Uh, and the backend is using Go. Uh, we use Go a lot in the, um, in the company and um, it's something that other, you know, cloud related companies also use, I guess. And now this is, this is in the middle of the list, but it's, uh, it's actually one of the most important uh, features, I guess, uh, which is the, um, the fact that it's accessible. And it's accessible right now using front-end plugins. So, you know, all this uh, can be improved uh, and will be improved, but uh, the approach we're taking to this is that, you know, if, if, you, if you have the dashboard, and then I'm gonna show this, but uh, if you have the dashboard and you want to add a button that shows you how much this uh, pod is costing you uh, from your provider, uh, then you can do that with a, with a plugin and it shouldn't require you to, you know, to change uh, stuff in the, in the dashboard. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so for now it's uh, it's uh, kind of, uh, I wouldn't say traditional, but you know, it's a web app in the sense that uh, we've been using it uh, hosted or something like that. Uh, but we also want to have a dashboard app coming out because we know that some, some, some other uh, users uh, prefer that way as it's a bit more isolated, I guess. Um, and, uh, and like I said, uh, so the right operations, as much as we, we're trying to, to make them, uh, we have like edit and delete buttons uh, and stuff like that. And if you don't have the, the right permissions, they don't, they don't show up. So, so yeah, so it should reflect, you know, what kind of level of access you have. And um, yeah, and like I said, of course, it will make, make sense to talk about this without it being open source. Um, so in this case, it's, uh, it's launched under Apache 2.0 and, um, like everything we do at Kinfo, there, there is no open core model here. This is really, you know, we want something that works for us and for people out there, uh, without strings attached. Uh, and that also means that, uh, you know, there are no CLAs it doesn't really, uh, matter with, uh, Apache, but, but that's something we, we also have in the company. So. Yeah, so this is the this is it. So you may ask. Uh, oh, I also have a bit about plugins that I forgot. <laughs> yeah, so so the plugins. Uh, uh, I said that they were one of the most important things uh, we, we're doing. And uh, right now, I guess the the plugin API is still very experimental and limited. But what we can do right now is to, you know, is to is to add new routes or change them if they exist. Uh, add new views, of of course. So you you have a route and you have a view and you point to the view. Um, and then we have a sidebar because I said we want to be like a traditional uh, dashboard in that sense. So if, if you want to add items to that sidebar, uh, you can add them. If you want to have what we call header actions, so you go to a pod and you have some actions like delete the pod and stuff like that, or see the cost of the pod, that could be a plugin. Um, yeah, but this is, uh, you know, more stuff will, will come out. So um, I also have that bit there uh, saying example. So what does this mean for the locomotive dashboard? We will, we will have a locomotive dashboard. Uh, you're tricking us about saying that this is uh, generic, but then it's a locomotive dashboard. So the idea for the locomotive um, dashboard is that we of course take headlamp and then we, we have a few locomotive uh, specific plugins, uh, I would say, uh, and maybe the branding. So maybe, maybe we have an image uh, that is the whole dashboard built with the plugins uh, there, right? So, but this allows us to keep the core uh, very independent from us. And, uh, and now back to the current status. So it's very early alpha. Uh, the, the picture I think describes what you can expect uh, there. Uh, and, uh, and you can check the code um, that is fresh uh, out of the oven uh, there in that link. So, so yeah, and uh, I think I still have time. So we can even have a live demo. So let me see if I go back and I change tabs. You can still see my screen, right? I didn't hear anyone, so I would just I will assume this is okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so so this is uh, you know I know that this is very bland yet but we can, we will make it beautiful later. Uh, so right now it's running on two uh, test clusters uh, that I have. 
and uh, I can choose uh, one. Like I said, you know, there's nothing spectacular about um, about the about this in the first uh, at first sight, I guess. But that's how we want it. Uh, so we want we want this to be the traditional desktop that I mentioned. Um, yeah, you have the, the you know the typical uh, the typical resource uh, usage there. You have the the pod views. Uh, you can you can filter you know the 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 namespaces and when you go elsewhere it it keeps them so you know it's just um, so in this case it's, it's the traditional uh, dashboard that works for everybody hopefully uh, and that's that's exactly what we wanted to have uh, so if you want to change uh, clusters then of course you can change to another cluster uh, and um, yeah you can see you know you can check the version stuff like that it's nothing Nothing really, I guess, spectacular. One thing that I would like to, to mention as a spectacular thing uh, is that uh, we do have this thing here called traces. And this is something uh, particular to, uh, to locomotive. So these two clusters that are running our locomotive uh, clusters and they have something enabled uh, called the, the trace loops by, by, by um, an inspector gadget plugin. So inspector gadget is a project that uh, Kinfolk uh, does, that Alban who created it, talked about it uh, this morning. Uh, and um, I'm sorry if it's getting noisy out there, <laughs> uh, neighbors, I guess. Uh, so uh, yeah, so so this uh, this plugin, what it gives you is like trace loops. Uh, so it's like a, it's like a, a nest trace log, uh, but runs with minimal overhead in the kernel. So when we go there, uh, you know. What you see here are pods, uh, and we can go and see the like these traces that I mentioned in in them. So since we have this view, even if this pod uh, right here crashes, we can go here and we can check uh, what happened, right? Even after the pod is gone, and um, and now this view and this um, item here uh, are running from a plugin. So if we if we don't have that plugin uh, enabled, it will it just not show up. So, because this is the thing about you know having our dashboard and the generic one, uh, yeah. And um, so this is one of the things that we can do. Another thing is, for example, if I go to pods, uh, let me just go quickly here. Uh, so if I go here to the pods, uh, let me move this window out of the way if I can. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, minimize. Okay. Uh, yeah, so now I can see what, yeah, I have the zoom window on top of the buttons that I wanted to reach, sorry. Uh, yeah, so so if you if you look at this, so these two icons are generic uh, things from the from headlamp. So you can see the, the logs here. Uh, this you expect to have on a, on a dashboard. You can also, you know, uh, what's going on? Yeah, you can also exec into, into, into the pod. But then you have this thing here, which is see traces. So if you go to the pod and you want to see the traces right away without going to the other view, this is coming from, from the plugin itself. So if you don't have the plugin running, uh, then you cannot have this view, uh, as it may not have Inspector Gadget running in other, uh, in other clusters, right? So yeah, I guess, I guess that's it. Uh, let me go back to, to the presentation. Um, it's a uh, you know where's it go? So the the thing doesn't work for me. I don't know. Yeah. So um, so like I said, it's still early alpha, but we're going there, uh, and uh, we invite you all to check it out and to contribute. And if you have questions, um, I st think we still have a bit of time. Thank you. Thank you, Joaquin. Uh, there's actually a question. Uh, by Renee, how are the traces cleaned up? Or in other words, how long are they available? Yeah, so that's uh, that's something specific to Inspector Gadget. Uh, uh, so I don't want to give you the, <laughs> the wrong answer right here. I know that there is like a circular buffer. Uh, so, so you know, it keeps, it keeps uh, if you ask for them, it keeps running uh, um, like that. But I, I don't know exactly, uh, you know, all, all, the, all the criteria around uh, managing it. So that would be a question for Alba. Hey, thanks for that. Um, let me just check the questions on YouTube. No, I'm not seeing any questions there. 
Alessandro, do you have any questions? No, just uh, I'm eager to, to try it out and uh, possibly contribute uh, if I can and yeah. open an issue as a, as a and it's, it's good that it's multi platform, it doesn't, uh, it's not tied to any particular uh, Kubernetes clusters. Uh, and the multi cluster feature is also pretty cool. So, yeah. great job. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I would like to know what your roadmap is looking like. Can you share some? Uh, yeah, so, so there are some, some, still some basic things uh, we need to add. Uh, so we have, um, you know, when you do something like adding the, the edit buttons and delete buttons, uh, all that functionality, uh, it's in a couple of views yet. So we want to extend that. That's, I mean, that's not even like a roadmap feature is more like to tell you that it's still early stage. Uh, one thing we want to do is that, um, so we, so the, the plugins right now, they, they, they're running, they're independent, but they're still being built uh, together with the, with the dashboard. I want to make uh, the plugins like uh, work out of tree, meaning like uh, if you if you know about Mattermost uh, or I guess Slack probably also does it like that. Uh, we want to have something like that. So we want to to have the basically the, the dashboard saying, oh, here's a plugin, uh, and this is what what it should use, right? So that would make things even more independent. Um, but that's what we have so far, and uh, also in the, in the coming very soon, uh, we're gonna have the the desktop app. So right now, like I said, I've been running this uh, from the browser itself. I want to provide also builds uh, with uh, Electron, I guess, or, or whatever. So people can, people don't have to have it, uh, to run it directly from, from source or, uh, or to have it hosted. And uh, I mean, I, I could share a lot more uh, since, uh, since the, the stage is, is, uh, is early. Uh, but yeah, in terms of the plugins, I can also say that uh, right now they, they do those bits uh, that I mentioned there. Uh, but also one thing that I want to look into is that even for branding, like you change the, the icon or you change the, the theme, that could be also something like a, like a plugin, right? So, so I want to expand, uh, I want to, to make sure that the, the, you know, the plugins are really, um, uh, I don't know, something where we, we, we will invest a lot 